to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Here's some cool news. They're saying that Pop Smoke's second posthumous album is apparently on the way. Okay. So there's been a bunch of teasers, but Pop Smoke's manager, Rico Beats, revealed on Tuesday that it's 95% complete. Okay. So let's get to it. I mean, look, this the, is exciting. Listen, that last album did so well. It was amazing. Uh, I'm yo, shout out to Steven Victor, the whole team. They put together something awesome in a really tough circumstance. They really did a great job. Um, the music's been incredible. So let's let's keep it. Let's still keep bum- it going. It bums me out so much though. But it's also, you know, uh, it's one of those things you have to accept. Yes, it's sad, but his family, his legacy. The brand, like, he's still able to, you know, this is still helping take care of his family. For a long time, yeah. For a long time, so that's the part, you know, we all want to lean in on that. Also, Andre 3000 locks down his next acting role. They're saying he's going to be added to the cast of an upcoming film called Showing Up, according to Deadline. Uh, He's set to star um, with Michelle Williams. And they're saying it's a vibrant and simply funny portrait of an artist on the verge of career-changing exhibition, blah, blah, blah. I'm just happy to see Andre 3000 working. And I like him as an actor. You're happy to see him working? He wasn't unemployed. No, but I know. But, you know, he he does what he wants. That's you know? what I'm saying. So, I, for me, I'm like, I when like, are you going to start acting like a rapper again? Maybe he doesn't want to. This, maybe I know. He wants to that, and that, that's why I, I want that. Hard, so, hard question. All right. You think Do you think 3000 is just like, I don't feel like rapping? Or do you think at this point... He's been elevated to such a high status that there's a level of intimidation about jumping back. I think in. it's a combination of both. I think it's both, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's both. Because like I, lo- I love hearing stories about him wandering around the village, playing the clarinet, playing the clarinet. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Uh, by the way, a I flute, it's, it's, it's quarter, re- whatever. <laughs> it's really cool and like he, I love it. He's like the Bill Murray of rap, and I love it. <laughs> but like I, I let's, don't you? I kind of want a three thousand album. An Outcast album or a 3,000 solo album? I don't think he's going to get that. I, I just, I, I wish, I wish he could put out an album and not live up, not have to feel beholden to old expectations. You know what I'm saying? But that's just not that's how, not how the life game works. works. It doesn't work like that. But even if it's not the world's greatest album, you know it's going to have a few joints that are amazing and forever. Yeah. He's the, he may be the best, he may be the best to ever do it. Honestly. Him at his absolute best, I don't think anyone's ever been better. Do you agree? I don't even know what you're saying right now. When you say these like Can you rhetorical, start ranking again? And it's when just, oh, you oh, hear three thousand drop one of those verses where your head's exploding by what he's saying, I don't think any MC has ever been better than that. Maybe as good, but never better than that. Three thousand okay. has verses that are just like you're like what? Yes, he does. He it's does. not. It's not just the lyrics. It's not just the way he raps. It's the way he makes you think about right. what he even said. That's right. You're not like, wrong. Yeah, he's a, he's a god amongst men.